Hey folks, your OS reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Toshiba SD P91 SKN. This is a portable DVD player by Toshiba and sells for about about 200 bucks online, uh, depending on where you look on Amazon and eBay. It's not the newest model on the market, but it is relatively reliable. It's well built with an aluminum uh, shell on the outside and has a swiveling. 360 degree uh, kind of hinge that can also be used to fold down so it's relatively versatile but I will say that it's a bit picky as far as uh, video Kodak and um, region support uh, it works best if you're in the States in North America if you're using it in Asia and in Europe uh, it doesn't fare as well with every single disc that you might throw at it uh, it also doesn't work as well with VCDs as I would have liked and expected uh, but otherwise as far as traditional uh, DVDs it does have a bit of upscaling as well it can also be used as a traditional traditional player and linked up into an HD television set or a traditional uh, television set uh, and it does again do a pretty good job. It comes with a pretty hefty battery pack or extended battery pack in the box as well which is a nice feature you don't tend to see a lot of on every single DVD player. Uh, so this does guarantee around 8 hours of continuous playback which is on the longer side of the spectrum as far as DVD players are concerned. Still DVD players are a, a dying breed I'd say. They're getting replaced by laptops if not by streaming services and tablets which are more lightweight, more feature rich and less expensive now so uh, this is something you know really more of a relic from the last few years but still something kind of interesting to take a closer look at uh, in terms of design again very well built um, it's made in Japan as well which is quite impressive quietly raises the expectations when compared to you know Chinese counterparts uh, but otherwise you can see some basic info on the back as well it's not the smallest or the thinnest DVD player in the world but it still remains really portable also not the lightest because of that aluminum construction as well as plastic parts uh, the extended battery pack comes in at a, a 4400 million hour capacity and takes roughly five hours to completely charge so charging rates are also a bit uh, you know middle of the road as far as DVD players are concerned but certainly not fast when compared to modern day smartphones and tablets. Uh, there's a charging brick that you need to take with you when you're traveling. It's a bit large for our taste, but uh, cable length is decent, so it works well if you're hooking it up to, to a TV as well. Taking a look at the top as far as ports are concerned, there's access to a dedicated volume scroll wheel, which uh, works pretty well. There's also two 3.5mm headphone ports, which is a nice feature to have. allows you to share content and uh, video as well as music files uh, if, you're, if you're watching a DVD with a friend or family member when you're on the go. There's also AV out in multiple formats. It includes a, a cable that you can use to put it out into the composite uh, RGB standard cable as well as VGA. There's also that proprietary charging port that Toshiba likes to use. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't a HDMI port on here, although you can get an adapter, so that's a little bit disappointing. There's also access to a power on off switch on the other side, and that's basically it. Popping things open, we can see that it has a pretty sturdy hinge, uh, remains pretty easy to operate uh, as far as one handed use is concerned. You can see that. The size, I would say, is comparable to a netbook of around uh, 10 inches or so, even though the screen on this particular portable DVD player measures in at roughly 9 inches. Uh, otherwise, uh, inside it's mainly made out of plastic. You can kind of see the disc spinning because it has a transparent, uh, at least a translucent strip across the center, which is kind of nifty. It also supports Dolby Digital, DivX, as well as DTS for audio. Simply pop this open to insert the disc and then close it up when you're done, and that's basically it. Um, Otherwise, there's also protective rubber feet on the bottom, which prevents the screen from getting damaged. Something nice about this specific uh, DVD player, the SDP91S, is the fact that there are built-in stereo speakers on either sides of the display. It creates this uh, pseudo home cinema-like experience, so it kind of brings back memories of the HTC, you know, boom sound speakers because uh, it comes at either side. It's you know distanced by the screen, so it really creates an immersive. Uh, movie watching experience especially if you're watching some action films on here so uh, music is definitely a strong suit and the speakers get quite loud they're rich sounding quite a bit of bass as well so uh, a nice point a high point i would say on this dvd player even though it does come at the expense of a slightly you know smaller screen it could be even wider and larger otherwise the format here is a full widescreen uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio something to quickly note all the controls are located below the screen itself which is a trans uh, which is a matte finish so it doesn't really reflect too much light. You have access to a mode key, a stop key, play pause keys, skip track keys. Also takes you to the menu, to the setup, to go through things like the saturation, the brightness for the screen, volume controls. There's also a 5 way navigation d-pad over here, play pause in the center as well. Also comes with an IR remote which you can use to set things up and navigate things when hooked up to a television set. 
So next we're going to plug this thing into power and show you uh, kind of what it looks like during operation. But firstly, you can see here that the screen indeed can be used to swivel across 360 degrees, rather impressive. Popped up kind of like a Lenovo yoga pad, yoga pad uh, tablet. You can kind of see that hinge uh, coming into play here. Works well for giving presentations too, if you want to use this, I guess, as a very small screen. It can also be folded down just like this and maybe popped onto the back seat of a car and used as a kind of uh, display. So works pretty well as far as form factor and construction is. For copyright concerns, we're not going to really load up a full disc you know, or a movie, but this is basically what the menu looks like when you turn the unit on. Boot up time is quite uh, fast, it takes just about a second to turn on. Uh, and otherwise, again, the battery life here is a highlight. It lasts for about eight hours of continuous playback in our testing. Uh, you can have access to the controls, which are pretty tactile, although we do think that if they're placed on the base as opposed to the screen, uh, it might be a bit more easier to press when the screen is popped up at the traditional orientation. But this is, I guess, the more smarter way or the smarter choice, because uh, if you have the screen fully folded down, it, you can still use the buttons in any orientation. Uh, checking out some of the quick things that you can take a closer look at. You can go through setup here to go through things like languages, like OSD menus. Uh, right now it's set to English. Subtitles, if that can be selected from movie, audio, DivX subtitles. Uh, going over here, we can change the aspect ratio, the viewing mode, uh, turning the uh, audio settings on and off, changing a password if you have a parental setting turned on uh, to prevent kids from watching maybe movies. Screensavers can also be set on here and default things like DivX uh, and so on and so forth. So that's basically what the menu looks like. Fairly decent and easy to take a closer look at. Uh, again, you use this five-way navigation D-pad to go through things. So all in all, I would say that uh, Toshiba did a pretty decent job here with this uh, DVD player, especially with this stereo speaker setup. The screen also remains very colorful and vibrant. Uh, it's an 800 by 480 resolution panel, so it's not you know full HD if you're watching here, but it does a decent job, and viewing angles are pleasant, although they do get a little bit washed out at a more extreme angles. Uh, main selling point here is that construction quality and longer battery life for a portable DVD player. Uh, but otherwise, downsides include the slightly heftier size, as well as the uh, more picky kind of disc region support uh, for you know kind of an Asia-based uh, manufacturer. We kind of expected a wider range of, of region supports, especially uh, if you pop in a disc, let's say from Japan or maybe from China. We expected it to play back fine, but actually it it's a bit more sensitive, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Otherwise, you can check out more details about this portable DVD player in our official written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.